Hi collective. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this reading. This is a reading for all the signs and placements. Everybody is welcome here on this channel. This is my second channel, Ashley Allure edition. All right. Um, feel free to check out my other channels and TikToks, etc. All right. And what them cards said. Okay, let me just shuffle again because I wanted to pull them. All right, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and get right into this reading. Um, you read the title. It's literally 333 while I'm recording this message. Um, so let's get into this. I really didn't like this. I did pre-shuffle a little bit here. But for some of you guys here, um, whether you're a man or a female, you could be somebody here to where you expect to be known for your work. Whether it's just like, you know, becoming famous, becoming a celebrity, becoming an influencer, you know, being well seen or sought out or in a higher position at your job or your workplace. Or this could be like a career goal or something you want to check off when it comes to your life. Okay. Um, and I feel like what's going on here, you could think about this a lot or all the time here. All right. For some of you guys here, you definitely could have came from like poverty or you could have had a hard life or a harsh upbringing in some type of way here or you could definitely come from a family where you know y'all may not have had the best things okay or more importantly you could have went through some type of hardships but i feel like you know you could be like the black sheep of the family you know or you're the or you're the person who more important is to make the family proud in some type of way here but it's gonna be like the own your own family you have now like you're supposed to somehow end up being like a wealthy man or a wealthy woman all right when it comes to your spiritual journey or your destiny or what you have going on here right and this is destined for you this is definitely in the cards here at the bottom of the deck we have sudden wealth that is definitely true and what's for you will be for you and like i said you're going to be known through your work whether you like this could be like like i said either through a job through like your passion you know your talents your creative measures etc okay and i feel like that's your destiny okay also these numbers could be of significance here for some of you guys here somebody's birthday could be on the 28th the 20th okay so my birthday could be on the 10th so my birthday could be on the 11th okay we got the six here we got the number 333 you also could be seeing the angel number 1010 all right also somebody could definitely be 29 years old your birthday's on the 29th all right the number 10 is coming up a lot here okay i'm getting double duos or double digits here doubles could be a significance here somebody can even have a twin for some of you guys here or you share a birthday with somebody here all right but you know there's a feminine ancestor who's been watching you excuse me who has passed on this person has been watching you guys for quite some time watching your journey watching you progress your ups your downs your lefts your rights you know watching you when nobody's looking um watching you cry watching everything you have going on here right and they make sure that you know that they're either there or you know more importantly that you know that they have not forsaken you they have been along you this whole alongside you this whole entire rodeo excuse me okay Mhm. Mm but they're trying to give you this warning here i don't know who this is for but they've been trying to give you this warning you need to pay attention okay um i'm gonna go ahead and pull these cards as well too because i have them but there has been somebody here who's been following you yeah burnout somebody's getting tired or somebody's running themselves ragged trying to find you in every single lifetime every single Every single lifetime, every single reincarnation, every life that you have, this person is trying to find you. Okay? And in the past lifetime, they could have found you where, like, you were needing some type of help or assistance in a past lifetime. And they disguised themselves as somebody who was going to be doing the such. But they were not. Okay? Yeah. It's just somebody here who they haven't spiritually assigned to you. Okay? And this spiritual assignment is a little bit different than most. The goal for them, since they're spiritually assigned to you, this person, I hate to say it here, but the Magician card and the Ace of Wands, yes and yes. This is somebody here who's been assigned to you. This is a specific person that they have to kill you. They have to kill you. This reminds me of Hercules. Remember on Hercules in the movie when everything, like, you know, Hercules has to drink the whole potion in order to be mortal to kill him. If you cannot make him mortal, you cannot kill him. Okay? Remember? And they were saying, like, you know, the, the three fates, the ladies, I, I mentioned the three fates yesterday in another reading. And they were saying, you know, um, okay, well, 
Hades, you will win. You will be able to be on top of Mount Olympus. You will defeat Zeus. But if Hercules decides to fight back, you will lose terribly. All right. This is kind of giving that kind of vibe here for me. Like that's what resonated with me just now. All right. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on. And I feel like what's going on here, this person in multiple lifetimes, they're always being assigned to kill you. But they have a certain amount of time of doing it. We have the magician card at the bottom of the deck. This person has to manifest you or get you to fall into their trap or to a source they have to do this sneakily okay yeah this is somebody here who like they have a certain amount of time to kill you or more importantly um get you to die off in some type of way or be responsible for this and your feminine ancestor they keeping you on point they know exactly what's going on here and i feel like whoever this person is six of pentacles and the ten of swords i'm telling y'all the facts i'm telling you what it is if this ain't more confirmation i don't know what it is but yeah with the six of pentacles and the ten of swords this person here they are spiritually assigned to you okay and this is like it give me another spiritual assassin kind of vibe but this person is supposed to be killing y'all off because but some of you guys here the way that you come up with your work okay you have the lover's car energy the way that you come up with your work or your job or your career or you know um you know your talents etc that's supposed to make you like rich and famous or to uh, continue your um uh, life journey or get you in a certain position of power or beat some type of uh generational curse for some of you guys here ace of pentacles get that money get that divine wish granted or make this happen for you <sighs> the devil card energy here and um, we have the lovers and the devil so i don't know if you guys have ever looked at the lovers and the devil they're the same card just different um intensities here you know love and hate is the same emotion just different intensities i want to say that all right but this person has some type of hate or disdain for you here but for some of you guys here you will be meeting a celebrity or meeting an influencer or somebody of the sort and as soon as you meet with this person or you collaborate with them with the queen of swords energy you could be very cautious about this as soon as you do this all right i feel like you know the game is over king of wands energy the game is over the lesson is over the objective is over or more importantly this job is over for this person and they have to deal with fate themselves okay yeah mm-hmm those of you guys here, if we're talking like career, we're talking like workplace, you know, um, there's going to be some type of a uh, grand uh, raise or grand position that you're supposed to be in or maybe even owning your own business with the Three of Pentacles energy, making connections or more importantly, having your name or your business be a household name or even you and what you do being like, you know, very familiar to people or where you live at or whatever it is. I'm going to also say this, you know how they say um, sometimes you have to venture out because the profit is never... I want to say this again a prophet is never all right recognized in their own hometown or more importantly in their own you know place that could be a significance here but yeah with the ace of swords in this regarding career yeah king of pentacles you're supposed to be in a position of power you're supposed to own some type of company here or somehow some way whatever you do for work you're supposed to be great at it people are supposed to want to come to you they're going to want to be recommended to you you're going to have a great raise in your salary or you know what you're doing here on multiple salaries with the nine of swords energy and then boom it's going to be over for this person yeah yep because there may be somebody here who's on top of you or has more power or whatever it is and they see you and they're like yo i like this motherfucker they do everything right they got it all together we're gonna put them here we're gonna do this for them we're gonna do this for them um do that for them etc okay with the nine of swords energy here and i feel like as soon as that happens boom with the hermit card five of wands this person can't take you down single-handedly or more importantly you could have like most of people who are, who are helping you here or like whatever arguments whatever problems or even them trying to get close enough to you to kill you or do something to you they're not going to be able to anymore it's going to be too many cameras too many people um too many you could even have an assistant here or somebody who's going to stay by your side security all the time all right so this person's not going to have any way to get towards you but yeah with the page of pentacles this is their assignment this is their homework when it comes to their spiritual journey here with the knight of wands energy and they have to make this a reality okay yeah but whoever this person is i feel like you know for some of you guys here whenever you feel this person's energy all right you may definitely like smudge or cleanse your energy burn an instant or somehow take a spiritual bath or you may need to all right because this person has a very nasty very toxic energy here but the thing is that i'm also just getting a headache doing this motherfucking reading but yeah the thing is that whoever this person is they have betrayed you before this is how you're going to know who they are this person has betrayed you before because for some of you guys here, either they believed a lie about you or more importantly, this person lied on you, okay? And I feel like, you know, this person was coming from a very revengeful spirit here, okay? Or if somebody lied on you and they believed it and they went again, they double teamed or uh, grouped up with somebody to cause revenge or wreak havoc on you in some type of way, all right? 
um, but whoever this person is, um, they are crazy. This is somebody here who will get into their masculine energy or get into that mode, how people say, and they will act crazy or they will do irate things or, you know, belligerent things here in their masculine energy, whether this is a man or a female here. And take action, not towards you, but other people here. And people may know this about them, but this person is very, very temperamental here as well, too. So, like, they may do certain things here um, just because, okay? But what I want you to know is that this person here, they're about to come towards you and ask you for a second chance. All right, for some of you guys here, you may know that this person is down low. Or they're having issues with their sexuality here. The same sex relationship or something of the sort. All right, if they're not down low, you could have definitely been dealing with them in that kind of way. All right, and then for us, you guys here, this is definitely somebody here who, more importantly, um, this person wants a second chance with you. Mm -hmm. But it's only because they need some type of help or, you know, they need to... Um, build some type of crisis or make it seem like there's something going on when it's not all right this is going to be their next tactic uh, their next tactics or tactic all right to come towards you all right but the thing is that i think they're smart i think they're clever here this is also somebody here who will even go as far as gaslighting you or you know if they gaslight you before they will gaslight you again they really will mm -hmm. they will Mm-hmm. Because at one point, for some of you guys, if you're a feminine energy here, this person could have viewed you as a female who was the non-committal type here. I'm also hearing that song, Throw Away by Future. And this person could have been in competition with you or putting you in competition, but you didn't give a fuck anyways. All right? But I feel like this person could have been sending you up to deal with karmics or triangulate you here or try to make it seem like you were crazy or you had a personality disorder, but that is the truth about them. Okay? Or some type of mental disorder. Okay? For some of you guys here, this can be a masculine energy here. All right, who may try to like be cool with you, make amends with you because they see that you're leveling up or you're having your way, okay? And only because I feel like they're falling off or people don't fuck with them no more. They have fallen off, all right? And if other you guys here, they could have definitely came around a succubus or incubus here to suck all their hustle, their money, or whatever they had going for them outside of them, okay? And that's a big mess, all right? Mm, 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 mm. All righty. But yeah, I feel like, you know, you guys really need to be careful, okay, when it comes to this person. I'm actually going to post this reading on two channels. One on my personal channel and the other one on my Aquarius channel. I'm going to post it twice um, just so, you know, this could be getting out. But I feel like what's going on here, this is somebody here who in past lives, they have done magic, like magic on you. For some of you guys here, you have had some type of strictly sexual connections with them. Or you've even had issues regarding your health because of this person, alright? Or they could have possibly tried to get you and you don't have gravely harmed you or made you ill in a previous lifetime, okay? But this is somebody here who feels like, you know, you know, if you were dealing with this person and they did cheat on you, you have to understand they thought the grass was greener with whoever they were dealing with here, but they quickly got played or quickly, you know how you say, it became hip that, you know, they ain't running game, alright? But yeah. This is who this, this this is what this person is assigned to do here. And they're going to be trying to fulfill their assignment again. Okay. Let's see what else she needs to know about them. Yeah, for some of you guys here it says just because you're invited don't mean you're welcome. So this person may try to even invite you somewhere or has invited you somewhere before. You may get a strong feeling of not going. You shouldn't. It's a trap. Wow. It's a trap. Okay. And let's see what else we need to know here. This person could also be scared of your reaction. So, like, they may be scared of, like, you reacting to, like, you knowing everything about them here or what's going on. For some of you guys, your car, your vehicle could even be of significance here. All right. Um, They could even be fucking with it. For some of you guys here, trying to make you into a crash. But this person could think that they're a hero or they're doing some type of justice by, you know, killing you or trying to do this here. Um, also, for some of you guys here, there's a ne network of people involved behind this person here who could be trying to keep this person focal and not focal um focused okay or create some type of tunnel vision here or have this person hypnotized to actually do this okay um so i feel like what's going on you guys really need to pay attention here this is not going to be a long message i did just want to go ahead and put this out all right um but you know if you do want to book a personal reading the link is down below um but yeah you need to be aware of this here because this is something that's very urgent and very dire okay yeah well i will see you all in the next one bye